right, Kristen, take a look at this giant branch. It broke off during that last round of wet, heavy snow. We got back on March 10th and it's still waiting to be cleared by the Department of Public Works. We saw yards all across Milwaukee that looked the same. My daughter, she would like to come out here and play, but with that tree out there, like, that's just not a good thing for her to be playing with. So, gotta stay into the tree, though. Giant tree branches down in people's yards. Milwaukee's Department of Public Works says it got 2,300 reports of debris in the wake of the storm on March 10th. I think it's a situation where they're just short on resources, and that was a pretty significant storm for our neighborhood anyway. Are you worried about what more could fall down? Um, yes, we are. I mean, there's some trees, I think, that... Um, that have some damage where the branches haven't come down yet. You can kind of tell in a heavy wind. So we're a little concerned about that. All available crews are on standby. The last storm left tens of thousands in the dark. That's why We Energies is staging crews just in case branches come down on power lines this weekend. Was that the biggest response that you guys have seen this year in terms of power outages? It was definitely a very large response. We had to call in mutual aid crews from sister utilities in the Midwest to come in and help us out with that. That's a really great and unique thing that utilities do is that we help each other out when significant weather impacts our system. So so if that does happen, we will do that as well. And Kendall, We Energies is also reminding people to watch out for low hanging power lines. Right, Kristen, she said after that last snowstorm, some people were trying to go near or over those downed power lines, which can be extremely dangerous if they're energized. So they're warning everyone to stay at least 25 feet away and report those outages or down lines on the We Energies website.